Hi, in this video I'll demonstrate how to use double exposure action for Photoshop. First, let's start installing the action file. Go to menu window, select actions, when the action panel opens, click on the icon on the top right of the panel, select load action, then locate the action file, select it and load it. You will see the folder containing the two actions, which are step one and step two. We will see in a few how to use them. Now that the action file is installed, let's create a new document, file, new. Use a resolution similar to the images you are going to work with. In this case, I'm using a scale of 3000, but it could be higher or lower. Just make sure that both of these values are not less than 1000 pixels. Also make sure that the resolution, the DPI are not less than 72 DPI. That the color mode is set to RGB color. Uh, 8 bit and that we have a white background in our document. Then click OK. You can see that we have a white background now in our document. In the case you didn't start from a new document and you don't have a background like this, you can create it. Just let's say you have a situation like this, you can create a background going to layer, new background from layer. Now we are ready to import our images uh, inside the document. Go to File, Place, and select for first the image that you want to use as background. In this case it's tree branch. Click Place, and hit Enter on the keyboard to place it in the document. Now double click the name of the layer, and rename it back. All lowercase like this. Now we import also the front image, which is model. Click place and hit enter again and we rename this layer front. Then go to layer new layer, call it mask and click OK to create this new layer. With this layer selected, we need to make a mask of the front image. To do it, you can use your preferred technique. For example, pick a brush, even a color. I pick red for this one and paint the mask. Try to be precise when doing it. And also make sure that your brush is not too much soft. I'm using 90% of hardness and it works. Uh, let me show you a mask that I already done. And then the mask should look like this with a transparency channel in order to work. And you can use also other tools to make this mask. For example, this image has a white plain background, so it's really easy to pick the one tool and make a selection of the white, invert it and make a mask like this one. Or also the magnetic lasso tool works good, or also the pen tool. Now we have our four starting layers. Make sure that they are renamed like this and we can play the action. Open the action panel. Select the action step 1 and click play. At the beginning of the playback of the action, this color range window will appear. Here we can decide which part of the background will be transparent. For example, I want the sky to be transparent in this, in this image. So I click on the sky and adjust the fuzziness in order to have a nice contrasted image. You can also change the viewing mode here to grayscale to see it better. Also remember that with these two tools you can add or subtract colors to the current selection. Once you click OK, a mask will be generated with this selection and the sky will be transparent. If you don't want to have transparency in your background, just pick a random color and click OK because you will be able to delay this mask after the action playback. So now let's click OK and let the action finish. Okay, now the first step is over and this message appears. It tells you that you can use the brush tool with a white color to paint over this mask of the layer base front manual mask to reveal important parts of the front image. So let's do it. Click stop here on the message. Select the brush tool. I select the white foreground color. And make sure to use a soft brush this time. So I set the hardness to zero. 
and also maybe you would like to change the opacity of the brush here I am keeping 100% then you can start brushing over the areas of the image that you want to reveal for example the, uh, you can see that uh, this eye can be seen very well while the mouth and the other eye are something like hidden so I brush over the mouth and this eye a bit okay now uh, as you can see this layers opacity is set to 50% and it is in pin light uh, you can modify both the opacity and the blending mode of this layer for example uh, in some cases also normal or hard light uh, works good just try it with your images uh, in this case uh, pin light is working very well uh, but maybe we need a little bit of opacity let's use 100% of opacity and that's it we have revealed the important areas of our image as you can see step 1 has created three main groups which are base front base back and base back field let's close them for a moment and take a look at them one by one starting from base back open it and you can see that our main background is in this group and it's a smart object so you can double click it here you can find the mask that we made uh, during the first step uh, of the action playback and if you didn't want transparency in your background now you can right click your the mask channel and delete the layer mask then close and save the smart object but in, for this preview I'm going to use the transparency of the background during this phase we can change also the position, rotation and scaling of the main background layer to do it select it and press ctrl T on the keyboard for PC or command T for Mac and so reposition it as you like it uh, as you can see this layer is provided of two adjustment layers for hue saturation and for levels to use them just double click one of them and change those values Let's close the base back group now and unhide the base back field group. As you can see, it contains the rest of the background and the opacity of the group is set to 10%. And if you want to make it fully visible, just uh, set it to 100%. Uh, the structure of the layer is similar to the previous one. We have uh, the main field layer and two adjustment layers for tweakings. Uh, for this example, I'm not going to use the background fill. Now, let's see how the base front group is structured. Open it. I'm going to hide all the layers and leave only the first one, which is base front lighting. This layer is provided of uh, two color adjustment layers for level and Q situation too. Then we have the base front screen layer, which adds a bit of brightness to the whole image. And finally, we have the manual mask we used previously. You can modify the opacity of all of these layers to get different looks. Now we are ready to start with the st second step. Uh, open the action panel, select step 2 and click play. It will add a basic color correction to the image and also will generate the color presets. I will fast forward this part of the video, but the action will not take a long time to complete. Ok, the action has finished the playback and as you can see the image is now color corrected. Also see in the layer panel that there are a lot of layers now and they are all uncollapsed. To reorganize them quickly, hold the alt button on the keyboard and close the color option and effects group and then close the double exclusive base group and then release alt from the keyboard when you will reopen these groups they will be collapsed let's hide the color option and effects group for a moment and check what there is inside the double exposure base group as you can see it contains the three groups that we have seen previously base front, base back and base back field and nothing has changed in these groups uh, now we have also the basic color and filter group which adds a nice gradient to the whole image and let's see how it's made. Starting from the bottom, the first one is the light and noise filter 
this layer adds some noise to the image uh, the opacity of the layer is set to 10% you can uh, change the opacity to make it more or less visible I will leave 10% for now then we have the film effect group this group adds uh, some contrast to the image and the opacity of the group is set to 80% you can also modify this here uh, inside this group we have uh, two level adjustment layers but you don't need really to adjust them you just need to modify the opacity here then we have the desaturation level uh, let's unhide this level to see how it would look without it okay it adds some desaturation to the image and also here we can modify the opacity value and uh, the more opacity the less saturation we have i will leave it to 50 percent then we have the detail layer this layer will add some sharpening and detail to the image uh, also here you can modify the opacity which uh, uh, at the beginning is, is 80 percent you can see here the difference between the two images uh, above this layer we have the grain layer which blend the two images together adding this nice grain and lastly we have the vignette layer let's close this group and take a look at the color option and effects group and hide it as you can see our image returns to be color corrected this is because the color option you know, is active now and as you can see in this group we have 10 color options 7 black and white options and a group called negatives let's take a look at all of the color options one by one and then we will see some of them more in detail Then there is the negatives group. Let's take a look at it and hide the group. Uh, this layer, negative back option, trims the blacks of the image and gives this kind of effect that can be mixed with other color options. Okay. If you don't want this effect to be present in the area of the eyes and the mouth, you can select the mask of the layer, pick a black color, brush and paint over it okay the second layer is called negative effect and just turn your image to negative these color options are easy to mix together for example unhide color option one you can modify its opacity for example set it to 50 percent and then unhide another color option also you can get interesting results maybe uh, mixing black and white options and color option for example uh, this black and white options has a printed effect on it and i could mix it with color option 2 to get something like this now let's take a look in detail at one of these color options uh, unhide color option 2 you can see that it has four layers inside the first one is a blue filter then we have a level adjustment layer that turns the midtones of the image to be a bit red then we have a color fill and a curves adjustment layer you can tweak these adjustment layers by double clicking on them or modifying their opacity to fit to your image now I will show a few images made with this action you can see more images at the download link in the comment section so let's start with this background and this foreground this one obviously the background here will rotate 90, 90 degrees with this background 
and this for the this one. And at last with this digital smoke and this woman, this one. Thank you for your attention.